What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to import Megascan's assets into Blender with a single click. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so as many of you know, Quixel is one of the leading companies when it comes to photo scanned assets and materials for different 3D modeling programs, including Blender. And so if you go to Quixel's website, for example, and go to the Megascans tab, so quixel.com slash megascans, you can see how they have a ton of different uh, models and other things available for download. Now, they do have a few for free. A lot of these are paid, so you need to log in and use credits in order to download them, but they're very high quality assets that look very realistic, especially when you render them. But the problem with this is when you import these, so if we were to do a file import and directly import the files that we download from their website, we would have to do a file, import, we'd have to import an FBX. We'd have to go find the FBX file. And then we'd have to go find all of the materials, right? So if you go into your shading editor, your materials aren't quite set up and it just becomes a little bit of a pain, right? Cause you have to go find all of those, all of that different kind of stuff. Well, in this video, I wanted to talk about an easier way to do that because Quixel actually has a really great plugin that works um, in order to bring these in with a single click. And so the way that that's going to work is, first of all, you're going to need to download Quixel Bridge. So Quixel Bridge is Quixel's uh, desktop asset management program. Basically what that does is that manages all of your different uh, assets. And first of all, it brings everything on, in a lot quicker, but it also is set up to export to various different programs. Um, Bridge is free to download. So you can go to Bridge, click on download for free to download that. Then you're going to open it up. And so when you open it up, and by the way, there's also a detailed step-by-step -step help screen, which I will link to in the notes down below. So if you need the step-by-step -step from Quixel itself, um, you can go visit that as well. But once you download Bridge, what you want to do is you want to find an asset that you want to download, right? So when you first open this up, it's probably going to look something like this without this little window right here. And we're going to go down and I'm going to go down to the local stuff, which is the stuff that's stored on my hard drive. And so let's say, for example, that you wanted to bring like this stone wall into Blender. So what you would do is you would click on this and that's going to pop up a little window on the right hand side over here. That window is going to give you options for the different things you would download, like the levels of detail, um, the different texture formats and resolutions, other things like that. But in addition, there's also an option down below for exporting it to various different programs, right? So I did a video yesterday on my, uh, rent, on my rendering channel about doing a custom export to a program for SketchUp as well. So you can export these to a lot of different programs, but in this case, we want to select Blender from the list. Well, when you select Blender from the list, you can see how this gives us a little button right here for download plugin. And so we want to click on the button for download plugin. And what that's going to do is that's going to download that and that's going to place this in this folder right here, right? So you can see in here that we now have a folder containing that plugin. And so if we were to go to that folder, we'll just do a copy and we'll go look in that folder you can see how this is downloaded and placed an add-on inside of this folder, which we can now install inside of Blender. So now we're just going to go into Blender. We're going to do an edit, preferences, and we're just going to install that. So we're just going to click on install. We're going to go to that folder and we're just going to double click on this. And what that's going to do is that's going to install this Megascans plugin. And you don't really need to do anything with it. You can just click on it right here in order to enable it. And so now that that plugin is enabled, we can go back to our asset library and find any of our assets and then just click on the button for export. And this is going to tell us exporting to Blender. And then if it works, it's going to tell us that it was exported successfully. If you get an error, make sure that you've actually enabled the add-on inside of Blender. And so if this doesn't work, just go up to file, import, and just look for the option for Megascans plugin. That'll enable the plugin. So if it doesn't work when you do this, you may need to restart Blender. You can also just enable it by doing a file import Megascans plugin. Now, if we go back to Blender, make sure this is set to export to Blender and click on export. Now go to Blender. You can see how this wall gets brought in to Blender with all the textures applied and everything else. So I can do this for anything contained inside of my uh, anything contained inside of my library. 
So let's say I wanted to bring something else in. So let's say that we wanted to bring in like these rusted barrels. I could click on this. There's actually a button in here once this is set up and you can just export objects by clicking on them in your library. You don't even need to go over here anymore. So now I can click on this export button, go back to Blender. You can see how this barrel got brought in here as well. So you can use this to bring in basically any object from your Megascans library. And so in addition to this, you can also use this to bring in materials. So let's bring a plane in, place that over here. We'll go ahead and apply a rotation and scale. But let's say we wanted to bring in a material rather than an object. So you could do that as well. So within Bridge, you just go find a material. So for example, let's go ahead and just use this moist stone surface. We're just going to click on this. We're going to click on the export button. It's going to tell us it exported successfully. Well now, if I go into my material properties and click the drop down, you can see how this stone material is actually going to be shown up in, this is actually going to show up in here. And so if you go into your shader editor, you can see how this actually set up a principled BSDF shader with the materials that we had in here. Notice how it brought in both the bump and the normal map over here. And uh, it set them both up, but it hooked the bump map in here. If you wanted to, you could delete these and you could bring your normal map in here as well. So you could use that in here as well, but you can use this in order to import both materials as well as objects inside of Blender with a single click. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used any of the Megascans assets? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.